Sir Peter of Imara. Yeah. Look <laughs> at you. Just open you up. Yeah. Right. Managerless. Winless for a long time. Can't score more than one goal in a game. We fucking turned up today, mate, didn't we? I think I did predict that in my last interview, didn't I? <laughs> you were as bad as your boy, you. I said we'd always smash them, didn't we? I said yeah. we always smash them. Yeah. Uh, we turned up day. We turned up particularly in the first half. I thought yeah. we was really good. You could see they weren't going to be the long ball today because of the forwards that were playing. That's spot on. Um, yeah. And I think what we've done again, second half, just showing a bit of too much respect, yeah? But again, I've got to give, take my hats off to Tom Bradshaw today. Mate, I think he worked his socks off, yeah? Unbelievable. Um, he really was... Like he can't be a Gregor, we know that. But let me tell you, but he's more effective. Was, I love Gregor. I'm Gregory's biggest fan. He's more effective than Gregory, in my opinion. Oh, because, he because puts he's... the ball in the net. Simple as puts the ball in the net. That's what he's there for, mate. Um, yeah, what he's there for. Um, I was I'm was pretty confident win today. Great first half this play, I've got to say. Going our shell second half, we let them come on to us, and then you're looking for a change, aren't you? You're looking for a change, mm. and then he done it with about ten minutes to go. Barton come on, but look at that Barton and. Um, um, Bradshaw, I think that's going to be the one. Do you reckon? I reckon that's going to be the partnership. I really that does, do. That does cut out, I think someone said on that on the channel, I can't remember when, that does cut out the big man. You don't... We long don't, ball's dead, mate. It's got to go. We don't... We can't rely so heavily on Matt Smith. We tried to rely very heavily on Steve Morris, and in the end, he was fantastic out for a very long time, but his legs are gone. And now, you know, I do know for a fact that Neil Harris thought that, that, that Tom... Um, sorry... Uh, Smith was his new fucking Steve Morrison. It can't happen, mate. Play the ball on the floor. Let's be fucking intense. Let's be quick. Let's be sharp. Let's get in people's faces and be pacey. Listen, when you're 1-0 down in the game, you're chasing the game, Smith is the man to bring on. The long ball, chasing yeah, the yeah, game, yeah. win the game. But Impact not, when, Peter yeah, Crouch style. Peter Crouch style. Yeah. When you're in the game, right, like we went 2-0, I don't know, I mean... Bradshaw's finish, uh, impeccable, absolutely brilliant, right, Bradshaw's finish. I missed right. that, I was at the park. Oh, yeah, well, I was in the toilet. When I went, someone came in, went, I went, I was in the toilet, I went, got rolled up to 2-0, 2-0, 2-0, 2-0, 2-0. I went, have you scored 2-1? I went, no, no, I ain't. missed that at all. Yeah, and it was 2-1, <laughs> I went, no, I come out 2-1. I went, here we go, back to the wall, normal Millwall stuff. Boys done well today, given the truth, they defended well. Uh, we should never have let them dictate the second no. half that, that was it uh, in my opinion that was the old Millwall creeping back in in a it way was, but also it was, it, was the, it was the class maybe at least with 10 men with the players they got they'll point to had a few p- people missing today but it wouldn't matter who they fucking had out there mate we were so up for it mate, we were so up for it let me tell you now they could have Ronaldo and Messi playing with them right they won't win down here against it like, us it was like a cloud had been lifted today, <laughs> wasn't it? yeah it was like, yeah. but like I said they could have all they want in that team right Brazilians whatever they're not going to beat us down here their name is Leeds they're not going to beat Millwall down here mate <laughs> simple as that next because managerial appointment it's, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw one in there at here, right? And no one's gonna mention him, Derek McInnes. Fucking hell, he sounds like a 90 year old Scotchman. Well, you know who Derek McInnes is. No. Don't you? He, well, Derek McInnes played for me all back in the day. Yeah. Fair enough. I think he's manager of it. I've had a big guy, yeah. Aberdeen, Aberdeen. Um, and I'm gonna throw him into the act because, uh, but 101, so and all that. Put your money on him, oh, Derek McInnes. Fuck, you know, you're buzzing today, mate. You're, I'm your brother's buzzing. Birthday. Brother, we own a few beers. Um, the feel good factor's back for the day Massive anyway. Um, and yeah. like I said, I'd like to say before I go, thank you, Neil, for everything you've done. Yeah. You've been amazing. You're a legend. And as I said before, um, full respect to you. But, and I know you will be back one day in another capacity, whatever. But more thank than, you for what you've done. Yeah. But love Spot on, more than anything of him being a, a club legend as a player and a club legend as a manager now. The biggest thing out of all uh, aside of both those things is him walking away at the right time. Yes, yeah. Uh, like that said, wasn't that wouldn't have been easy to swallow, but he did it, and it was the right thing to do. And I didn't think he'd do it for one. I, I got it wrong. I said his ego was too big. I, I, I've been proved wrong there. Absolutely the right time. It's a day that made, I'm telling you, you know, him walking away has saved our season. Possibly, yeah. I, I think well, we, we're going nowhere. The performance was going nowhere. No, no, we, going on, we need a change of direction, right? Yeah. We've done that now. So let's get the right person in there, right? But I'll go with Derek McInnes, 100%. There you go. You've right? heard it for you from Big Pete O. Right. Come on, well, you know Come on, I'm...